Coding and Robotics Education in School Scheme, CARES, Goa. Primary vision to develop computational and design thinking skills along with the programming integrated into the school level of education for the state of Goa to prepare students for the demands of the 21st century digital world. The recently unveiled national education policy by the Ministry of Education recommends that mathematical and computational thinking will be given increased emphasis through a variety of innovative methods. The scheme aims at mitigating the talent crunch and demands of digital age. It aims at setting up of coding and development labs, design studios, and thus increasing entrepreneurship and employability. It develops an acumen and interest for skilling towards an oncoming way of life based on digital technology by incorporating ICT hardware in labs. It aims at skill upgradation of teachers and students. The assessment of this revised ICT curriculum is completely rubrics based. The content creation is done by the school teachers where the management plays a very, very important role. The support of ICD infrastructure is another major component in making the scheme a huge success. Very important to keep the students and teachers involved by conducting hackathons, competitions, and conferences. To roll out the syllabus for the optional advanced syllabus delivery, making school premises available is the need of the hour. Support for hand-holding weekly sessions for peer-to-peer -peer learning. So that there is constant skill upgradation of the teachers involved, hand-holding sessions held on a weekly basis where peer-to-peer -peer learning is practiced. The computing environment revolves around the ecosystem where the single board computing is the major component. This single board computing bo device allows tools like Scratch, PictoBlock, Sonic Pi, Blender, HTML, CSS, Kojo, all open source tools which can run on a single board computing to run. The students would learn in class 6 shapes, collaboration, graphics, internet, data safety, and the tools would be Scratch, PictoBlocks. Google Docs, GIMP. The class 7 students would be learning data processing, 3D image editing, HTML, internet, and the tools they would learn is Kojo, Spreadsheets, Blender. The class 8 students would be learning Sonic Pi, Blender, text editors, via which they would learn video graphics, creating music. They would be introduced to CSS and the internet. The government would develop computational thinking and design thinking lab at each government slash aided schools in a phased manner. These uh, labs would have computing units like the single board computers which would run the tools like PictoBlocks and Scratch. These are all open source tools. The CARES is envisaged or tasked with the day-to-day -day activities of rolling out the scheme and in this process has come out with resources. One such resource is the YouTube channel which has crossed more than 10,000 subscribers and has the latest updated content videos. Another such resource is the teacher handbook meticulously designed to maintain uniformity in content and content delivery across the entire state of Goa and the CARES Goa portal where all 65,000 students of Goa, government and aided schools have registered and they look up here for any reference. The strong point of the scheme is the industry experts, school teachers and other resource persons who are continuously handholding all the teachers involved in the delivery of this scheme. The project management unit at DT along with the coordination of D, S, E, R, T, and D, T has designed the syllabus which consists of the regular and optional part. The regular is mandatory for all the 60,000 students of standard 6, 7, and 8, whereas the optional would be for the ones who would choose to learn the curriculum. The computer teachers from the schools would be delivering this 
subject the computer teachers would be mentored by the industry experts and they would deliver this by using the single board computing devices they would be making use of the handbooks and videos which are put up on all the resources the teach for goa fellows would be delivering the advanced optional syllabus the project management unit at dt along with the coordination of d sert and dt has an unique hierarchical structure designed for the skill upgradation of all the teachers computer teachers in the state of goa the pmu handholds four core master trainers which in turn handhold 12 taluka master trainers these taluka master trainers work in a peer to peer mode and handhold all the coordinator teachers in their region who further train all the teachers in their designated location the pmu has conducted several activities for students and several competition one such competition is the coding competition wherein there were around 3600 plus entries from total 300 plus schools another such competition was the covid care competition which had around 5200 plus entries from 320 schools another part of the activities for students were the slogan co coding competition in collaboration with the election commission of india and the logo competition wherein the students participated and the best logo was selected as the logo for the coding and robotics education in schools scheme the pmu also conducted two boot camps one was the diwali boot camp and the other was the aiml kurever international boot camp which had around 10000 students participating in the online boot camp the care scoa is proud to have featured in the news of medias like the better india the times news network twitter handles and it's a proud moment for cares when the honorable pm of india shri narendra modi ji made a special mention of this scheme while addressing the people of goa cares goa is honored cares goa has several testimonials from students where they see the scheme as a new platform to accept the digital challenge and excel thank you